That's that's a spot, you guys. There you go. 23. That's a spot that I need to kind of pick up on with playing. There goes there there goes the combat knife, people. That's the sledgehammer. Got an AFK 25 who play this map. He just knows where to maneuver at all times. <laughs> Nobody's getting through that doorway. 29. 30. He has the nuke at 50 points in Dom already. And now he's trying to go for He's trying to get another one. Because literally, when you get a nuke at 50 points, you got to go for another one. There we go. 30. There's the second nuke at 107 points in nomination. Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone, and in this video, we're going to be watching the number one Cold War player drop nuke number 3000. Yes, you heard that correctly. Desire FPS is sitting at a 13 KD with 3000 nukes. Now, the crazy thing about this is he dropped a triple nuke to unlock nuke number 3000. So, if you guys want to go ahead, check out Desire. He streams on Twitch. He's actually live right now. I'm going to go ahead and leave his Twitch linked at the top of the description as well as his YouTube channel. Make sure you guys go ahead, follow him over on Twitch, and subscribe to him on YouTube. I know he'll definitely appreciate that. We're going to be reacting to the gameplay. He's upgraded. He's got a face cam now as well so we can see his reactions, his callouts, and obviously how he maneuvers around on Nuketown. Now, with all that being said, the like goal on this video is going to be 1,000 likes. If we can get 1,000 likes in under 24 hours, that'd be absolutely incredible. And also, let me know down in the comment section right now, what is your current KD ratio and how many nukes you guys have in Black Ops Cold War? I'm actually super happy Treyarch went ahead and added a callable nuke. That kind of adds to the suspense. So let's go ahead, check out this gameplay and see how nuke number 3000 was dropped so he's playing some nuketown domination um i believe he's going to be using the ksp 45 because that is his gun yep he's gonna be running the ksp 45 because that is his gun oh wait yes he is so he's got the ksp 45 he's running it with uh what looks to be the Field Agent Grip, I'm going to go ahead and break down the class setup at the end of this video, but it looks at the Field Agent Grip, the AG Suppressor, the Task Force Barrel, as well as the um, the Salvo 52-48 round Fast Mag. He's just running their spawn right now, taking out the snipers, taking out the people lying down with LMGs. Frying right now. running armor war machine and the harp honestly whenever i go for nukes i always run the hand cannon so it's kind of interesting to see people still run the war machine but hey he has 3000 nukes i don't so i'm not gonna question why he runs the war machine oh he almost got throwing a knife right there that's the thing about nuketown like some of these lobbies you're either gonna get people who are sniping lying down with lmgs or people running around with combat weapons like the knives the throwing knives gets the heart the one thing about desire you're gonna notice quickly because i made a video on him earlier this year when he got his a thousand nuke or his two thousand nukes like it, he it's ridiculous he has so many nukes on this game is he does not waste his war machine at all It's on a 19 at 28 points. Like, literally, he is keeping up with the domination points with the kills. That's something that, it, it, his pacing is insane. 21, 22 at 32 points in Dom. Try to hit this wall bank spot right there, fellas. Like, that's, that's a spot, you guys. There you go. 23. That's a spot that I need to kind of pick up on. With playing. There, goes the, there, there goes the combat knife, people. Got the sledgehammer. Got an AFK 25. So I'm saying Newtown, man. People who play this map. He just knows where to maneuver at all times. He's also running Quartermaster with the C4s. I'm just noticing that. You know what? I need to start running that because you can resupply him. That's probably not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea to run Quartermaster. 27. 28.
Teammates watching that with an RPG. GG. <laughs> Nobody's getting through that doorway. 29. 30. He has the nuke at 50 points in Dom already. And now he's trying to go for, he's trying to get another one. Because literally, when you get a nuke at 50 points, you got to go for another one. And he already has another war machine. Like this, the pacing is unbelievable. There we go. Think about on B. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the volume up real quick. There we go. Went ahead to ra I went ahead and raised the volume up of the gameplay so you guys can potentially hear more of the surroundings, what's going on. Sitting on top of this house, just picking them up. This is actually a very good spot. I typically don't really... There we go. I typically don't... Oh, his teammate got a chopper gunner? Or an attack helicopter? Just mowing down the spawn. I typically don't, like, sit up on top of this house, like, on that kind of, like, patio awning area. I always kind of stay bottom house, but... Whenever I do play respawn on Nuketown, I definitely need to go ahead and check that out. There you go, hitting that wall bang spot. I need to start hitting that more. I'm going to start hitting that in s and because a lot of people just like to sit in the back and hide behind um, the fences back there and search and destroy. I'm going to start spraying through there, and if I get a hit marker, I know somebody's back there. That's something that I always forget to do. I never really even thought about doing it. You pick up so much stuff like watching people play. It's on a 16. Get out of, get out of mid, get out of mid. Trying to wall bang it. He hasn't pulled out his armor again. There we go, 18. Oh wait, I think he actually has more. I think he, I don't think he even can. Thoughts on Halo? I don't oh. like Halo. Obviously, because the right. halftime. I was paying. See, even I, I make that mistake. Sometimes I wait. That's what I'm talking about, man. He doesn't. He does not waste his score streaks at all. Yeah, this is definitely a spot that I need to start going to, because you could just lock down their whole spawn sitting right there. Movements on point, just taking them out. So he's got a, he's got, he literally has the full setup. He has a nuke in his pocket, a harp, a war machine, and a vest. <laughs> At the start of the round, bro. What the hell? That's crazy. There we go. I mean, his awareness is nice. I would have actually thought that that guy was bottom house right there. I'm not going to lie. I mean, just the, that's just the, 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 the situation awareness, 25 Bro, fellas, he almost has... It's 102 points to Dom 27. Dude, look at... This is what I'm talking about. People just sitting in the back of the spawn. 28. Almost got sniped right there. 29. All right, so we did get conveniently hit with an ad at 29 kills. So let's go ahead and uh, finish off this nuke streak. There we go, 30. There's the second nuke at 107 points in nomination. Let's go for nuke number 3,000. There you go, takes him out of A. He probably could have got a quad, honestly. Because his pace, like, fellas, his pacing is ridiculous. Ooh, we got taken out right there. His pacing is nuts. He has two nukes at just over 100 points in domination. Who does that? we go Jesus Christ that KSB 45 the one burst to the hip that far I'm gonna need this class set up I 
All right, let the teammate go ahead and challenge that. Just gonna rotate around the C flag here. Ooh, there we go. One burst. This KSP 45, bro. I've been sleeping on this gun. Oh, we almost got shotgun right there. Dude, one burst again. Does this? Does the ammo box give you more amp, like damage? What the hell? I'm gonna have to start running that. You see that one burst? Dude, I'm gonna I'm going to start running the KSP 45 like as a main. Like this is probably the one SMG that I always have slept on in this game. I don't know why. I just think burst SMGs are just not my cup of tea. Not that I don't think they're good, but they just kind of feel weird to use, but at at the same time it's just like dude, the anticipation of some guy lying back there is just like, "Nope, I'm just gonna just pre-fire it." Oh shit. 17, 18, 19 look at this not wasting the war machine 20 again 20 already 21 at 150 if his teammates didn't like keep pushing the spawns this could have been a quad 100 percent. there you go 22 they're at c they're outside they're outside last teammate snagged them 23. Oh, they got a sentry gun. 20. Oh, and they got a trophy on it. Oh! Almost got quick scoped right there. Lying down. Look at look at all these look at all these guys just in the. That's what I'm saying. Nuketown is just one of those. It's either you get a, a game where people are running around with shotguns, knives, line out LMGs, or all the above. 29, and there's the triple. He's actually gonna go for the quad. He's actually gonna go for the. Hold up. He's actually gonna go for the quad. I don't think. He's actually gonna go for the quad right now. If he had a party, he could have probably got it. Twenty. He's on a four. Wait. Five. I wonder how close he gets to it. 172. 7. 8. Like when I stream in that, I'll still obviously play for nukes, but. Not gonna be fucking like stressing Dude. Out. Oh! Got shot from behind. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. Just waiting. Now they're just uh, waiting. I'm free to this, um, oh, he doesn't. He, I don't think he has time. Obviously not, but. Bro. Maybe if he didn't die there. Maybe if he didn't die there, he might have had potentially time to get it. Yeah, just call the nukes in. Look at him lying down in the back over there. That's literally Nuketown in a nutshell. It sucks that the nukes kill you, though. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section right now. Honestly, since it does kill you, I just feel like the nukes should just end uh, the yeah, game. I think, think so, like, yeah. realistically, he has 118 kills right now. Can you call these in back to back? I don't know if he's going to call it in. I know in Modern Warfare there's a cooldown. I don't think you know how arse you are, plus. Bro, get the fuck out of there. No one cares. I promise you no one gives a fuck. Oh, there is no. I don't think there is a cool. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. Call in the second. Might not have enough time to get it in. Maybe he does. Nope. But there we go, folks. His 3,000th nuke. All right, let's go ahead and create Desire's KSP-45 class setup that he was able to drop nuke number 3,000th with here in Black Ops Cold War. The KSP-45 is definitely an SMG that I need to start using more because whenever I see somebody using it, they're always going off or if I die like instantaneously on a streak, it's typically to the KSP-45. So it's an SMG that 
I've been sleeping on and I think a lot of you guys should check out in order to get your first nuke or maybe even more nukes on your account. So first off, we are not going to run an optic on this SMG because the iron sights are crystal clear. Luckily, a majority of the iron sights here in Black Ops Cold War are very good on the SMGs, so you do not have to waste an attachment in the optic category. Now for the muzzle, we are going to put on the agency suppressor so we can have muzzle flash concealment as well well as vertical recoil control this is going to be a great attachment to run on any smg because you're going to be off the radar you can get inside the enemy spawn and take enemies from behind and build a kill streak very quickly and that is exactly what desire does throughout the entire gameplay so definitely go ahead and put on the age suppressor when you are building a ksp 45 or any smg class setup here in black ops cold war going for nukes now for the barrel i recommend you guys going ahead and putting on the 10.5 inch task force barrel so you get increased damage effective damage range as well as bullet velocity this is overall going to transform the ksp 45 making it a close to medium range monster and you're consistently going to be getting one to two burst kills like you saw in the gameplay you can also take enemies out at longer ranges but as an smg being able to one to two burst kill enemies at close range running and gunning you really can't go wrong with that and that's why the task force barrel is so effective on this burst smg now we're going to be skipping over the body and we're going to be jumping down to the under barrel and we are going to put on the field agent foregrip so we have vertical as well as horizontal recoil control so we can take enemies out at longer ranges because again this is a burst smg if you can land your shots in the burst you're going to be getting consistent one to two burst kills and dropping the enemy very quickly without them actually understanding what happened and honestly that's exactly what's happening in the gameplay this gun is melting and it's all due to the field agent foregrip especially when getting those long range kills so i recommend you guys going ahead and putting this on your ksp 45 class now for the magazine we are going to run the salvo 48 round fast mag so you have the fastest reload possible and enough bullets in each clip to get the job done you can mow down the entire enemy team with one magazine you saw it in the gameplays and i'm sure you guys have probably seen other people do it in lobbies the ksp 45 48 rounds psh, you're gonna be going crazy and i recommend you guys going ahead and putting this on your class setup immediately and then finally for the handle we are going to put on the airborne elastic wrap so we have increased aim down sight time flinch resistance as well as aiming while going to prone you can snap on enemies in turn getting that first shot which is going to guarantee you getting that first kill with the ksp 45 you can also have flinch resistance so if you guys do get shot at those longer range engagements you can maintain your aim and accuracy hit those bursts and get that kill and then finally you can aim while going to prone so you can drop shot a lot easier and winning those close range ticket situations which is going to happen quite often when running around with an smg so let me go ahead and put on the airborne elastic wrap this is going to be the absolute best and the fastest killing ksp 45 class setup here in black ops cold war if you guys are trying to go for nukes and for the remainder of the class that he is running the akimbo amp 63 pistols stem shot c4 the assault pack flat jacket tactical mass scavenger and quartermaster to resupply his c4s and finally ninja and spycraft and all this is going to be possible with the perk greed wildcard i recommend you guys going ahead and using this ksp 45 class setup if you guys are trying to go for your first nuke or more nukes here in black ops cold war and if you guys do go ahead and tear up a lobby let me know down in the comment section of this video and like always everybody if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all best class setups best settings tips and tricks or any new updates that do go live here in black ops cold war make sure you guys absolutely drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications make sure you guys go ahead and check out desire let's go ahead and uh Show them some support on Twitch as well as YouTube. And if you guys are unaware, about 70% of you guys who are watching my channel are not yet subscribed. So click that notification bell and become part of the year's family. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.